halftime, you got out of the, the red shoes, you put on some different, because you were slipping a lot the first half, and you took a couple of falls, it just seemed like you wanted to change your luck a little bit. What happened there, and uh, how did those shoes work out? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I was felt like I was just slipping a lot. Um, it's like, all right, we, you know, might as well try something else. Um, so that was horrible first half, so just had to try something else and uh, start playing a little bit better. Joe said your halftime conversation was you guys agreeing that was your worst half of your career in the first half, then trying to laugh it off. So did you agree with that statement? And then how did you laugh it off in the second half? Yeah. Um, I mean, he didn't even have to tell me. Um, I knew that. Uh, I don't know. It was just anything that could go wrong was going wrong for me there. And, um, I mean, it was just a, a rough first half. So um, just take those, that 15 minutes to kind of reset again and get back after it. Derek, you talk about, like, the response. Joe was saying, like, you kind of throw away the first half a little bit. It's about what you did in the third quarter. But when you have that kind of response, what, what does it say about the team being able to kind of put that aside and, and, and come back? Yeah, um, I mean, we made the adjustment. Of, I mean, we knew what they were doing. Uh, they're just beating us to all the 50-50 balls, the uh, offensive rebounds, and um, we just came together. It was like, we just got to be tougher. And came out that third quarter and made it a game and then just found a way to win down the stretch. And, like, everybody kind of knew that coming off the West Coast trip, it would be a little kind of iffy for you guys to start. Everybody knew that they'd come in kind of desperate. But even though everybody knows that, how difficult is it to come out in that first quarter and kind of play up to, obviously you guys didn't, how, why couldn't you when everybody kind of knew that this was coming? Yeah, um, I mean, you talk about it, you um, – Maybe if you think about it, but I mean, they got a guy, a lot of guys that have done a lot of good things in this league, and I mean, you look at their record, and you might want to relax a little bit, but they they still got guys that can um, compete and compete at a high level, and you kind of just assume that uh, we're gonna win, and we hit one shot, we're up 16 or something like that. Like that's just not the case, and uh, we kind of just settled down. And I mean, first game back from the road trip is always the most difficult for whatever reason, and. Uh, it's nice to struggle and still get a win. Uh, Joe said he expected this to be one of the toughest games of the year. Um, and I'm curious from your standpoint, knowing that they were on this losing streak and obviously has gotten so much national attention, how much of that is on your mind um, throughout the game? Like, we don't want to be the team that falls to them. Or is it just like, this is an intense game. We never want to lose. Um, how much of it is just about the losing streak and not wanting to be the team? Yeah, I, I want to say that we was like, oh, if we lose, we're the team that they broke the record against. But... Uh, you're just out there competing, uh, wanting to get a win, especially here on our home court. So, um, I mean, for me personally, I wasn't really thinking too much about the losing streak, um, especially during the game. Derek, Joe talked about reinventing the offense on the West Coast, playing faster. How did that come about, those conversations about, you know, tinkering with the offense a little bit, and how did that kind of translate to this game? Yeah, um, I mean, I just think that uh, we got a lot of guys that, when they're out in transition, they're – uh, really effective and um, I mean cross matches and everything that that happens in transition, which helps us on our offense. So um, I mean, even if you don't get a shot up quick, like even pushing it up and getting it into offense at 19, 18 seconds, now we can make a drive, kick, drive, kick. Um, you just got more time uh, to make other reads and um, the extra pass and whatnot. So um, I mean, playing faster and then just making the right read while while playing fast. I mean, anybody can play fast and just turn it over a lot. So uh, I think in, on the road trip, we did a great job of playing fast and then making the right read off of it. And Joe gave Jason a lot of credit for spacing, you know, playing in the corner while you and Chris Tess played pick and roll in the fourth. What, what leads to that? Is that kind of coming from the bench? Is that something you guys talked about, you know, in timeout or just kind of creatively on the floor? Yeah, um, I mean, uh, JT's willing to do whatever it takes to help us win. and. I mean, obviously having KP is a, a matchup nightmare, and um, they didn't really want Ivy to switch on to him. And so just having, um, I mean, your superstar, I mean, even him just staying in the quarter, they're not really helping off of him either. So it uh, just opens up the space so much for uh, KP and I, to, and then you just got to make the right read off of that. Derek, was, this was the first game you guys won in overtime this season. Was there any difference in the extra period as far as? execution and or anything um we just found a way to win um i don't know what our what's our record in overtime 
No, it's one and three. One and three now. I don't know. I, I didn't know that going in, but we just found a way to win, and I mean, hopefully we keep winning in overtime. Hopefully we don't get to overtime, but you know. Are there good lessons from a game like this? You guys haven't faced a ton of situations like this. Yeah, I mean, you can take lessons from every game. Um, I mean, obviously how we started is not ideal, but just coming together. And um, I mean, Kay got off to a great start in the first half and then um, kind of changed our coverage a little bit on him and, and kind of slowed him down a little bit. And then um, just finding ways to win, different ways to win each and every time against different opponents. So um, there's no real one way to, to win games, and we're just finding different ways to win.